Hi everyone, this is the latest in my Marvel Before SJW series where I talk about how and why Marvel used to be so damn good before everything went crazy. So this is Daredevil 272 from 1989. Great cover by John Romita Jr. Written by Anne Ascenti. And most importantly, edited by Ralph Macchio and editor-in-chief was Tom DeFalco. I'm going to get back to that later. So Anne Ascenti took over Daredevil after Frank Miller's Born Again uh, story, which was a huge hit. And she took it in a very different direction, very political, and yet it totally worked. Even though she's obviously of the far left, I never felt insulted or attacked. Her big thing was to show both sides of a story. So she chose a storyline that sounds like literally the biggest cringe fest you've ever heard about. It's about veganism and feminism and that just makes you probably not want to read but man this is a really good story because she told uh, multiple sides of the issues and she had some surprises it was a classic well-drawn story the funny thing is that daredevil is kind of um not a narrator but he's just kind of a person who walks through the story sometimes quite literally it's really about these two opposing characters and um, this character's father. So even though they're doing this kind of grounded story about real life issues, Anna Senti is so good that she can work in the Inhumans <laughs> and it sounds, it just seems totally uh, natural. So, and just look at these pages. You got this great, I mean, the art is very simple. The face is essentially just an outline with a big blacky, uh, blocky, uh, shadow look at this background it's just a very um kind of almost geometric design looks very european everything looks great and then we're right back to like a pickup truck and the grass and the woods so in this story you have um two characters that are contrasted against each other which is fantastic because this is classic writing you you take two different characters and you, you have them fight and you show differences and it's not daredevil is you see daredevil is almost just kind of like a referee he's um in this kind of weird place in his life so he's kind of detached from everyone and you get the really interesting thing is is that the blonde bimbo girl is given some actual depth and the uh, i'll call her the antifa girl is um actually shown to be a pretty bad person which is kind of funny when you consider how far left the writer is. This is where, and then it just keeps getting more interesting. Number, number one, there's a good brisk pace. A lot of stuff has happened only halfway through this. You get a good intro to a, a mercenary military style uh, bad guy, really more of an antagonist. But here's where it gets really interesting. The dad, who's like the evil rich capitalist, is speaking to the evil militaristic mercenary, and his complaint is about the skill that he uses to attack his targets. He really doesn't like the fraud, waste, and abuse of using these very expensive rounds to do something very simple, which is shoot and kill someone. It's, it's kind of an interesting take that the, the, the evil guy is also really worried about just tax money being wasted and, and overkill. So we get these things where, and I'm blanking on her name, it's actually... <laughs> Brandy. So they gave her like a, a, a typical like airhead sorority girl named Brandy. So the interesting thing is she's very, they, they show her as kind of being brainwashed and almost kind of brain dead in some ways, but they also show her as being very kind to everyone. She really doesn't judge people, uh, but she, she picks up on things she learns. So she starts having these flashbacks of her being experimented upon. It was by this woman's father. He's into genetic um, manipulations of all times. So she kind of sees herself, her sees herself, and she has empathy for the animals who are experimented on because she went through the same thing. So Daredevil literally is just like, oh, all right, you girls deal with each other, I'm out. He ends up getting attacked by shotgun. And I remember at the time thinking that the action was kind of lackluster in this book. It's not really so much of an action as a suspense, and it's very done very well. Look at these nice, moody scenes. Of course, Daredevil has one advantage. He can, he, he's not hampered by the dark. The shotgun has this superior uh, weaponry. 
And so they have a good solid, not groundbreaking, but it's John Romita Jr. It's going to be good, a good solid fight. So it ends, and it's um, Daredevil basically comes back, and he's like, okay, I'm convinced that I'm in for this fight. A great little kind of, a, not really a cliffhanger, but just like a teaser that things are going to step up in the next issue. But a lot of stuff happened in it. It's really good. But let's talk about something else. So one of the big things people always say about Marvel is SJW just de- destroyed Marvel because they politicize everything and they just talk about politics. And there was politics in every single, God, not only every single page of this book, practically every panel has some sort of political comment or idea. And it works so well. And it's because it never became a speech. I never felt like, now I know the politics of the writer, but I never felt she was explicitly saying that her her ways are the only ways, demonizing the other side. It was a real give and take, and it was a real full um, appraisal of, of all the different things they discussed. Now here's where it gets weird. So I ended up interacting with the writer on Facebook last month, and she was completely indistinguishable from all the current Marvel editors and writers who demonize and block and call everyone who doesn't think them Hitler and Nazis and all that type of stuff. She didn't say that much, but I was really surprised that the person that I kind of guessed existed from this writing, which was very even-handed, saw both sides of issues, liked to converse with you know diverse people. I didn't really see that when I interacted with her in, not real life, but social media. So it made me think about why, and I'm thinking a lot of it goes to Ralph Macchio and Tom DeFalco. Their eras on their books are very solid. The books are good, and this is back when a nothing special book would sell 150,000 copies easily. So I think there was a directive back then, I'm guessing, that said literally, you're going to show both sides of the story. Nobody wants a speech. Make sure there's some good action. Make sure there's good suspense. Make sure it's not just all talking heads. Even if it's just someone smashing something to basically make a, a point in their conversation, it's still very dynamic. I mean, you go from him having the tantrum to breaking the statue um, that represents truth to picking it up by a man who can't speak to respond to what, um, I forget what this guy's called, Gorgon uh, is saying. So it's great. So I'm putting a lot of that on editors editing. So we took someone who probably has some proclivities to tell one side. We got both sides. We got a story. I'm always going to say this. I despise nostalgia. This is good because it holds up. This is good. If you didn't tell someone this was made in 1989, they would like this. And they would say, oh, this, this, this seems very modern. It's talking about issues that are discussed every day. So highest recommendation possible, 100%. Go find this. Uh, Go get Marvel Unlimited. It's, it's kind of Marvel's version of Netflix. I'll probably do a whole video on that. Marvel Unlimited is fantastic. It's the best deal you're ever going to find. It's like $10 for 18,000 comics. And literally 10,000 of them are good. You can literally read them for the rest of your life. So let me know what you think in the comments. This is my second time on my video because I held it the wrong way the first time. Um, give me any advice. Share, subscribe. Uh, comment. I respond to all the comments. Thanks. And I'm going to have another video up today. Actually, two more. One will be on Appleseed Book 2, and the other one will be on Fate of the Furious.